Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty is yet another request by one of you guys, and it's how to slope in a dozer. And that's it. This is kind of a difficult subject to cover in a little 15 minute video. A lot of this is just gonna come with seat time, but I can give you some basics. I can give you some ideas um, on how to go about it. Uh, hang on just a second here, guys. Anywhere off that platform, Isaac, just get right to the edge, but keep, stay up top. Don't go down into the valley, stay up top on the platform. So, um, a key that you have to think about when you're doing anything in a dozer, but especially you know when you're working with slopes, is whatever the blade does in front of you creates the grade that you're then going to track on. And so, for instance, if I tilt my blade all the way this way, as soon as I get to the point with my tracks that I've cut with my blade, my dozer is going to start pitching in the direction that I'm cutting. And so if I want to keep the slope that I've got here on my blade, that means that as the machine starts to pitch, I'm slowly going to have to roll out of that to where I'll be sitting sideways on the slope I just created. But in reality, the dozer blade in relation to my tracks is level, if that makes sense. And so we'll, we'll demonstrate that here. So what we're gonna do is I'm, and as you can see, I've got a stockpile here. The goal is I'm, I'm gonna try to round this over so that it's gonna shed rain. And so what I'm gonna do, hang on, Isaac's trying to talk to me. Just toss it up there, Isaac, you're fine. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into this flat. And then as I get to the point where I wanna start rounding the mound, I'm gonna roll my blade up so that we can start creating that slope. And you're gonna notice when we get up on the slope, my hand over here is gonna start rolling the blade back the opposite direction because we're gonna start going up on that slope. And if I left my blade pitched, we would just keep getting steeper and steeper and steeper. So let's go. So we're gonna go forward, I'm gonna start my pitch. And now my tracks are starting to get up on it. So now I'm gonna to start to roll back. And now you're gonna notice if I stop right now, my blade is actually level in relation to my tracks, which means we're gonna stay on the slope that we're creating. And now the only thing I'm creating or I'm controlling with my blade now is whether I'm going up or down because we wanna keep a nice level pass going forward. And so that's all I'm worried about right now. You're gonna notice my blade is not angled to one side or the other. And so gravity is naturally gonna cause the material to roll off to this side of the blade, which is fine because we can use a little material over there. As I round this corner, I wanna feed more material to that outside edge. So I'm gonna angle a little bit and that's, you can see it spilling off the edge of my blade here. But again, look at my blade. I'm still pretty level in relation to my tracks. The only reason we leveled out there is because I didn't have any more material on the left side of my blade. We were still adding material to the right side, which brings us level. So now let's go in a situation where I want to clean up this edge. But I want to leave a pretty clean edge. I don't want to have a bunch of material roll off the sides of my blade. So what we can do is we can angle our blade this way. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna trap the material that we're generating up against the pile. You'll still have a little bit roll off the outside of your blade, but because we're angling towards the pile, it's gonna trap that material. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a nice little finish here because I'm actually, and notice as I went into the slope, I leveled my blade back out. I don't wanna change my pitch. But notice how little material, even though we got material on our blade, look at how little is coming off the right side of the blade. I'm trapping that material. And so we're not getting, and now, sorry, there's multiple things happening right here, so I'm gonna stop. So now all of that material staying over here, we get very little roll off. That's how you're gonna create a, a nice clean pass. Now, what I'm wanting to do is I've got a level pad here that I wanna kind of blend this whole thing into. And so you notice I tipped my blade back the other way. Look at my blade angle in relation to my tracks now. My tracks are sitting up at an angle but in relation to the ground, my blade is level, which means in relation to my tracks, it's angled way down. I know I get really wordy and confusing on some of those. I hope that makes sense. But as we come forward, our tracks start to level out right about here. So I'm gonna start pitching my blade back the other way. And now we've come level. So 
So this is how you cut slopes on a, when you're traveling parallel to the slope. That's what I'm shooting for. When we're traveling parallel to the slope, this is how you're gonna create slopes. There's gonna be a lot of blade angles side to side, and then you're gonna use the, or I'm sorry, your tilt side to side. You're gonna use your angle to either trap material or let's go to the back side of this pile here. The other way you can use your angle is to create material under your tracks. So we're gonna to start to shape this side. And you're gonna notice that when I go into this, that's a very sheer face on the left side of that, uh, of that pile there. And so I want material to shove off that edge so that my track will go into it. So that instead of me sitting like this on the pile, we kind of make it a decent pitch. So I'm gonna angle my blade over away from the pile so that we shed material. But first, I wanna, I wanna keep some of this with me initially. And now I'm gonna start to roll. And so now what you're gonna see is, the material that I'm taking from the top is rolling down and creating a nice track base for me to ride up on. And I'm actually gonna leave this side of my blade a little high because what's gonna happen as we go over this new material we just laid, it's gonna compact. And so if you put it at your finished slope, you're actually gonna to be too much of an angle. So I'm gonna leave it a little high because as we roll over it, you're gonna see the machine's gonna kinda of lean into it and that's it compacting. So right now, I'm gonna angle up just a little bit. I'm sorry, tilt. And then we are angled away. Now right here, we start to run out of material. You gotta pay attention because if I keep going, I'm gonna get myself into trouble. So when we run out of material, we're gonna back up and we're gonna do another pass. Notice how much we're leaning right now and it's because we're getting compaction on that material. Now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna trap this material because I don't wanna spread my pile further out to the left. I wanna keep it on the pile. So we're gonna trap the material. I'm gonna go in with my steep angle. And I wanna pull that material in towards the pile and kind of build my, build my slope here. And see, now we transition. I need material, so we're gonna angle back. Give her a little shake to knock some of that material off. And we're just gonna continue to round this pile out using our blade to manipulate where we want the material to go. So again, we're gonna start flat. Right about here is where I wanna start my slope. See off the right side of the blade, so we're gonna start to pitch. And I don't want it to be as extreme as it is. That's why you don't see me tilting to match the slope that's there. I wanna carry the material forward. I don't really want it either direction right now, so I've got my blade uh, perpendicular to the tracks of my machine. Now, see we're getting to where we lose material off the left, so we're gonna angle over. And I'm actually gonna, I'm sorry, I keep using angle and tilt. Now we're gonna tilt the left side of the blade up because it's gonna compact. And if I turn into it a little bit, I actually throw that material off. Now, this is pretty high still, so I'm gonna take some material off the top. We're gonna push it down to the end of the pile and then throw it off the left side where we need that material. So here we go. Because I'm coming in right in line with the pile, I don't wanna be angled either way. So we're gonna keep our blade parallel to the ground. And now I'm controlling the pitch and the slope by my up and down movement of the blade. So this is how we're gonna start an angle. Every time, guys, I tell you, every time, Let's see who this is. Okay, I'm gonna have to call you back. So um, so now when we're coming in line with the pile, sorry, I get myself distracted. I'm gonna use my up and down movement of my blade and that's gonna control the slope. Same mechanics apply. You're gonna see me raise up on the blade, but then once we kind of get up on the slope, you're gonna see me lower that blade down to where it's in line with my tracks. And that way I don't keep pitching up to the moon. And then when we get to the top, I'm actually gonna drop my blade down until we start to level out and then I'm gonna raise my blade back up. So here's here's real time. So we're pushing down because I wanna start easing the slope. Now I'm actually below my tracks because we're working on getting leveled out. I'm gonna to start to angle off to the left because that's ultimately where we want this material. We're starting to come level so I'm gonna ease back on my blade. Right there is level. And then we're gonna throw this material off to the left. So 
So I want to take some of the material now off of the right side of the pile and move it back over to that left. So we're going to trap it against the pile. Notice I'm angling into the pile. I'm going to set my, my slope roughly where I want it. Now we're getting in the slope, so I'm going to bring my blade back parallel with my tracks or level with my tracks. Notice how little material is going off the right side of that blade. It's all being trapped on the pile. And now we've made ourselves more material up here that we can manipulate. So we can go back to work on the left side of our pile. So we're going to take a little of this off the back side of the pile here and we're going to move it forward. So again, we're going to trap that material up against the pile. I've got it cut all the way right now, but now we're starting to get onto the slope. So we're going to bring her back level. Right here is where we start losing material off the left, so we're going to angle the other way. Notice how the material starts to roll, especially when we give her a little shimmy and a shake. So that is the basics of cutting slopes. If I want to ease this slope a little bit, we'll kind of split the difference here. So you can see that my blade is kind of splitting the difference between the slope up top and the slope on the bottom. We're just going to kind of shave this little this little knob off the off the uh, the middle here. And I want to throw that material. I'm not angled super far, but now I'm going to angle pretty good because I want that material right in here to make my slope just like that. top off of, off of the uh, pile just a little bit. So we're going to go right in the middle and we're going to control our slope with our up and down movement. We're going to start to come down and we're working in two dimensions now because I'm not only working with the up and down but I'm also working with the tilt. Technically three dimensions because we got the angle too. So that is kind of the basics. I could sit here and I could do this for an hour and, and at the end of the day I'll tell you it's just going to take seat time. Again, I always say this when you when you talk about tip and trick tips and tricks videos. Um, this is where the skilled part of the skilled trades comes in. It just takes seat time, it takes experience, it takes knowledge that just comes with being in the seat. Because another whole aspect of this that plays into it is your ass level. I talk about that all the time if you're unfamiliar. Uh, you get to a point in most pieces of equipment, but especially where it's critical is when, when you're running dozers. You get to a point where you can tell which way the machine's pitching, even on a pretty subtle slope. And so a lot of this transitions, a lot of these transitions that are happening are because I know with my ass level that I'm about to reach the point where I'm level, which means that I need to start because I'm, I'm creating the grade I'm going out on, right? So when I start to get to the point where I'm about to be level, I actually start pulling back on my blade because if I go another three feet, I will actually be level. And so you're on a little bit of a delay because you're tracking over the grade you're creating. So that's a whole other aspect that's, that's a little challenging when it comes to doing these slopes and doing slope work is you have to have a decent ass level so that you know when you need to bring the dozer blade up or down or you need to angle one way or the other. So. That's kind of the best I can do with this. This is a pretty complex topic. It's a skill that just takes a lot of time to learn. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to drop comments and questions down below, and we'll catch you guys on the next Down and Dirty.